In this brief tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about static variables and when they need to be used on Android Studio uh, with Java. Okay, so here is a typical application that I have running on Android Studio. And in here, uh, this particular app is called the President's Quiz. This is the main activity right here. And you'll see that right at the beginning of the activity, I've defined a whole bunch of static private variables. And these static variables in this application, as is so often the case, are connected on the other side to the layout uh, to individual items that sit on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk right now about one particular button called the Submit button that I have in my app. Let me just show you that right here. Here is the President's Quiz app, and here is the Submit button right here. Now, uh, on the layout side, the submit button is called submit underscore B, and on the Java side, it's called B underscore submit. So when I first started to develop this app, I created a private static button called B underscore submit. So this is on the Java side. Uh, so here, what I did in the initialization method is I connected the Java side button to the button that sits on the screen. And the first thing I want you to notice here is the syntax that was used on the right hand side, uh, which is capital R dot ID dot submit underscore B. So we can see here that on the right hand side, this is clearly uh, a static variable. We know this because the capital R is a class. It refers to the resource folder class, uh, which corresponds to this resource folder right here. And um, here uh, we're using the ID, which is a property of the resource folder and then inside there we have the submit button. If I look at the layout here inside Android Studio I can see that the submit button is right here and it once again points to the button right over here and it's submit underscore B. Okay so we can see therefore that the submit button on the layout side is clearly a static variable. Now does that necessarily mean that when I equate it to on the Java side it should also be static? Well, not necessarily, but there are good reasons why these variables are static. If we consider, for example, what it means to be static. Now, one of the key attributes of a static variable is that it's only one of them. And what we have to ask ourselves, is it possible or is it ever desirable that we're going to want more than one? And here I think the case is clearly no, because we're tied on the other side on this uh, Java variable to a resource that's a, a, basically a physical resource on this layout right here, this submit button. So since we can only have one submit button on, at a time uh, on this screen, we don't really want a case where we have two separate submit buttons in our application. And so for that reason, it's important that we define this submit button on the Java side also as a static. And we've done the same thing here with all the other uh, assets in, in the layout. Okay, so when we create these Java side uh, variables that are tied to the layout, we're always in our uh, applications for this course uh, going to declare them as static.